hello guys welcome to this live stream so basically in this live stream we will be looking at how basically we can use the busboy library inside uh, node.js to basically upload files to server so we will be looking at the code snippet here i will be writing code step by step with you so if you're watching it for the very first time please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well so let's start the video and let me show you the live demo of busboy library in node.js and express to upload multiple files to server so now let me show you the demo so guys this is the application here as you can see on your screen right here so we have this application we have a choose file button basically this button allows you to upload your files and we have this upload button right here so this is a very simple interface right here which allows you to basically upload your files and now if I want to test out this application I will simply click this choose file button and now if I select these two files here and uh, you, uh, you can see I have selected these two files and uh, now if I basically click upload you can see single upload success so if I see it is saying undefined let me check let me just delete and start from scratch we need to start this let me just refresh it sometimes error can take place so we have choose file button and now if I uh, select these two files now you can see guys upload success and now if I check these two files this is the first file you can see that guys this is the second file so both the files have been uploaded successfully guys so we have used the busboy library in node.js and express and all the source code of this application is given in the description of the live stream so you can get the full source code so now let's get started by building this application so you can see guys this is the directory structure of the application if you see you can see this is the directory structure of the application we have uh, uploads directory that you need to create and uh, then we have index.html file which is a simple form here and then we have uh, index.js code so now let's get started guys by building this application so this is our command line we need to first of all initialize the package.json file so npm init-y simply initialize this and then we need to install uh, these two packages which is uh, npm i express and then we need to install the second package which is busboy so uh, b u s b o y busboy so these are the two packages and if you basically go to npmjs.com and this is a really good package it's a streaming package uh, busboy I can see it's a streaming parser for HTML form data for node.js so it has got over 9 million downloads you can see how popular it, it this package is so I think it's a very popular package you should definitely use it it's a great alternative for Malter Malter library is a very famous library for uploading files but I think this library uh, is very, really famous and you can see the npm install busboy this is the command which is required and uh, now we have successfully installed all the packages now we simply need to as you are building this project guys you need to create an uploads directory so here all your uh, files will be uploaded uh, this needs to be a directory so just create an uploads directory that's all And now just create a index.js file let me create this so index.js file so if you see inside of a package.json file we have these two dependencies busboy and express so these two dependencies are there so after this guys we will now write our index.js file so for writing it first of all we will instantiate our express app we will say that express we need to now require express and then we will simply make a new app which is express and we will basically listen on port number 5000 and we will say here console log app is listening on port 5000 so what we have done guys you can see that we have imported the express module we have uh, started our application at port number 5000 so this is all that we done guys you can see that 
so after that we just need to also import the busboy library busboy we just need to require it busboy that's all so after doing this guys what we need to do we also need to import the file system module so this module you need not have to install it simply require it and also path module as well so these two modules are part of the node.js library so after that guys we now need to basically show something on the screen so we will now write a simple get route so whenever you request we will send out a file here send file and we will send out this file guys which is slash index.html so what we have done right here we are requesting this index.html file guys so now we need to create this file index.html file in the root directory of our project so let's create it so inside the root directory we need to now create this index.html file so this will basically a simple form guys and slash upload method here will be post and encoding type will be multi-part form data so these three parameters action will redirect to your this request that we will write and this is a post request because we are sending some data to the serve we are uploading files that's why method is post and encoding type simply means that we are basically sending files so this is required multi-part form data this attribute is required whenever you are working with files so after that guys we will have a simple input type which is file and we will also be giving a attribute which is multiple so which automatically says that we are uploading multiple files so we can give this name as files that's all so it is required for the validation that's all so this is all the html code which is required for this application now we will move to the index.js file now we will write this post request which is slash upload request response very simple code so now guys the functionality of busboy takes place so we are requiring busboy so now inside this we first of all need to get the file name so file name we will declare it as empty variable after that guys now we will use the busboy library busboy is basically a constructor and we it takes an option here which is headers so inside the headers option guys we need to pass here request dot headers this is the thing that we need to pass request dot headers and then guys inside this uh, busyboy library we are having uh, some kind of events for which we can listen for the events let's suppose whenever the file is uploaded whenever there is some kind of error take place so these are some of the events out there so now we can listen for these events so for listening for this events guys so what we can say right here we can uh, listen for this bb dot on so dot on is a function and we can listen for a event called as file and then we can have the name of the file the actual file and the info information so this is the actual callback function which will trigger whenever the file is being uploaded so we can simply get the file name using info dot file name like this and then we need to tell how to save this so we will use the path module path dot join we will basically store it inside the uploads directory so that here we will provide the path here which is slash upload slash the actual file name so you can see that guys basically you can also console log this information file name so this event will trigger automatically let me just try out this application so basically if i go to localhost 5000 i need to start my application so for that we will say node mon index.js so it is saying uh, let me correct my application sorry this needs to be index.html just correct it and now if you refresh we have choose file button and also guys we do need to have a submit button as well to submit the form so input type submit and we will simply say the value to be upload so if you just refresh your application guys and pick a file and click on upload so what should happen in the console if you see guys nothing happens 
I think we need to refresh it. Click upload once again. So nothing happens. You can see we are not seeing anything on the screen. So why we are not seeing anything on the screen? So I think slash upload. We have put this slash upload request response headers. Uh, we need to save it. Let me save it. This file first of all, guys. We have provided the path, and then we will use the pipe method file dot pipe, and then we will use the file system module. And basically, it contains a method create write stream. So here we will save it to this location. So this method, the file system module, it's a great module for manipulating files inside Node.js applications. It contains various methods. One such method is this create write stream. so we are passing the path so this will save this file so whenever the upload is complete guys this uh, db on it again contains all these uh, call you can see events are there finish file limit field limit all that error as well so when it is completed this callback function will automatically trigger close and in that we can simply say write head and we can basically pass a response back to the user that uh, content type and we can simply this will be text plain and we can basically tell the user that your file is uploaded so we can say files are uploaded to the server that's all and after that we just need to request dot pipe we need to pipe this request guys that's why the error was taking place guys you can see that that's why we haven't uh, written this line request dot pipe we do need to write this line request dot pipe and pass this bb object which is buzz boy so we need to pass this request pipe bb like this and now if you see just choose the and click upload you can see files are uploaded to the server we got this message and if i see the path is also printed in the console as well you will see that so if you check our file is successfully uploaded guys you will see that in the uploads directory we can even upload multiple files as well so if you try to upload multiple files let's suppose two files so files are uploaded so once again if you check two files have been uploaded let me delete this and start again if i try out so files are uploaded and now you can see that files are uploaded so this was a very simple example guys on how to use this uh, very basic library busboy which is a streaming library in node.js alongside with express to upload multiple files to the server So please hit that like button guys subscribe the channel as well if you're new to the channel this is all about coding channel and uh, all about we have almost 32000 subscribers up till now video so share this channel with your friends hit the like button and if you have any sort of questions you can ask in the comment section